Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can import this CSV file to our database in MySQL. So I have this table here in MySQL, which is currently empty. So I have ID, first name, last name, city, and country. These five columns in my table. And I have a bunch of other columns here in this CSV. So this is a CSV. If you look top here, it says customers100.csv. So let's try to import it. First, I'll just quickly click on import and just select that CSV. And I'll definitely get an error. So let's see what the error is and how we can fix it. So I'll just choose file and select that file. So the format is CSV. If you have some other CSV or if you have some other format, just change it to csv and just click on import now i'll get a bunch of errors so it says invalid column count in csv input on line one so that's because we just have five columns in our data table uh, let me just show it to you again and we have a lot of columns here so i'll just keep the ones required that is id first name last name city and country and let's delete everything else delete these columns so now i have one two three four okay i accidentally deleted city two uncheck this right click and then click on delete to delete the, these columns so now we have index first name last name city and country all right now let's try to import those things again select the csv uh, did i save it saved it now select it and just click on import and this time as you can see 101 queries are executed and if i browse i can see it but everything is zero that's because this is in string format right but in our database if i click on structure here in this customer table everything is integer so let me just change this to var care and let me set the length to 100 and click on save now you'll have to match the data type for all the other columns too so everything here is string except the index right so if I check my database here, only the ID is selected correctly. I mean, only the ID is inserted correctly. That is one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And one thing else is this column here that has index, first name, city, and country. This is also inserted, okay? Because we had not told our MySQL to ignore that column. Now, let's see how we can do that. So we have integer here. We have varchar here. Let's first delete all these things. I'll just write the query. Delete from customers. Where one. So it will delete everything. Okay, now we have ID that is integer and first name that is varchar, okay? So what we can do now is I'll just click on import again and choose the file again. And if we have different names and here we just need to enter one so that this can be skipped so we will skip one column and now if i click on import as you can see we have one and cheryl two and preston so id and data are now imported and these are still zero because i've not changed the data type for these three columns so this is how you can import csv to mysql if you have any questions let me know in the comments below